Greetings. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a collection in Google Docs. But I'm not just going to show you how to create a collection. What I want to show you is what you can do with all of your old files, uh, whether they're curriculum files, um, that you uh, basically I want to show you that you can upload just about any files to Google Docs and have them shared uh, throughout um, your uh, your team or, uh, or or your district. So um, one of the things that uh, I've uh, uh, if, if you haven't noticed or haven't tried uh, when you go to your Google Docs there's a nice big upload button there and we've started to make the connection that you know all of our past curriculum files things that we've collected over the years that may be a Word document or Excel files or whatever can all be uploaded to your Google Docs uh, as a place to have them in case you change computers in case you lose stuff if you want to share your curriculum with your administrator or another teacher uh, this is a great way to do it so I'm going to start uh, and if you'll notice uh, if you don't have it turned on uh, you may see right down here where it says um, uh, allow folder uploads all right that's uh, something new and you you can actually uh, check that box or whatever and allow uh, entire folders to be uploaded you know if you have a folder full of curriculum files and that's what you do so I've already done that with mine so I'm going to upload a folder now what I did uh, on my desktop I created a folder called unit one science and inside that folder is um, I have some some uh, documents that I created but then there's also chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. These are all uh, files that should go along with my unit. Um, so it's pretty organized. And the other thing here, uh, these are all docs, uh, uh, Word documents that are going to be uploaded to, to Google Docs. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, you can upload any file to Google Docs at this point. So I'm going to pick the entire folder, just highlight that folder and then I'm going to select. All right, now when that happens, I get an option here. It says, set your preferences. Uh, do I want to convert these uh, to Docs uh, presentation spreadsheets? Do I want to convert these documents to the Google Doc format? Uh, now, I'm not going to check that because these are Word documents. There's some images. I don't want the formatting to be lost, but I can do this later if I decide uh, that I want to go to an individual document and convert it later, I can do that. Uh, and I'm also not going to convert text here. All I'm going to do is confirm those settings. And what I should see here is that uh, my stuff is getting uploaded. It's going to take a little while, maybe a minute or two. But um, I'll be right back as soon as it's, uh, as soon as it's uploaded. Okay, so right now it's all uploaded. Right there it says uploaded. Now, I want to show you something kind of neat that happened. Um, right on the top of my docs list, Unit 1 Science is right there. Google Docs did a great thing. Since I collected, a, uh, since I uploaded a folder, it turned this folder into a collection, uh, which is Google Docs version of folders. Uh, so it took all my files and it put it in this, uh, this collection. Uh, it also, if I go down here to My Collections, I can find Unit 1 Science is right there. And guess, I'm going to just make a guess, but can you guess what folder is going to be inside that? Guess what? Chapter 1, right? Because I had a folder inside a folder. That's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is click on my folder, and now you can see here's all the, fi uh, the documents that I had inside uh, the folder. And then if I click on Chapter 1, those are all the documents I had inside there. So everything's nice and organized, uh, looks really good. And uh, if I wanted to open one of these documents, remember it's a Word document, so it's just going to preview what the document uh, looks like, so it's not converted to Google Docs. Uh, and actually, this one looks pretty, pretty good. This is actually the self-reflection rubric for uh, teachers. Um, that is, uh, that is pretty cool. That looks really nice. So let me just show you the last part of this, uh, which is. I want to share this curriculum with my administrator or another teacher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the little arrow down here next to this, and I'm going to click on that and go to share. And I'm going to share this folder 
uh, with my administrator. And I'm just going to throw Elizabeth's name in there for now. Uh, I'm going to make sure that they can edit. That way uh, they can download, they can uh, take a look at these files too. Um, and uh, I'm going to make sure they're notified. And I'm going to click Share and Save right there. Great. It's still private, but it's only uh, to us right now. And now they have access to all those folders. Now, if you're a teacher who, you know, you have other people in the district who also teach similar curriculum to you, uh, this is a great uh, way so that we can all see what he, everybody is doing, uh, and we can all share materials if we uh, if we want to. Uh, so that is how to upload a folder and turn to a curric in, into a uh, collection. Now, if you wanted to create a collection. Uh, from the start and then drag stuff in there, um, you could just go to create new and you could create a collection, uh, give it a name, uh, and this, I'll just call this science. And then this one was created underneath here, uh, just so you know. If I went to my Google Docs list and I wanted to add some folder, uh, some uh, documents to that, to that, uh, folder right there, all I have to do is drag, click and drag anything I want into my curriculum folder. See that? It was now shared in science. Uh, same thing over here. Let's say I want the Animoto video put into my science right there. And again, another way, easy way to just uh, organize all your folders in uh, Google Docs. Uh, that's going to do it for me right now, but uh, good luck and let's, uh, of course ask me questions if you got them.